careful. It says, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire riding with Amy on a trip, a day trip. Actually, we're just going to Target, I think. And it's cold, miserable outside. Amy is being very cautious. She had a wreck. Totaled our last car that she had. So now I have to get a new car, which we have one on the way. But um, I have on my overalls. Amy, do you know that when I was teaching, I was teaching an American history class, and we were going over a, um, a, a something about the Constitution. And you know what the Constitution is? Yes. Um, we were going over the Constitution, and there was a part in there, and it was about the framers of the Constitution. And I started talking about it, and this girl goes, Oh! And she started laughing. I'm like, What is so funny about the framers of the Constitution? And she said, Well, I thought it was farmers of the Constitution, and I was thinking, That's stupid. Why was it only farmers? You know, and I thought maybe like way back then there was just farmers or something. So she learned that it was not the farmers of the Constitution. So I have on my farmer's outfit, my farmer of the Constitution outfit. Good for you. <laughs> Amy, that's funny. I like your story. She's really concentrating. Seriously. She's got a new t-shirt. It says, yikes. Yikes. Yikes! If she had been in my class, when she walked in with that t-shirt, I would have said, yikes! Mr. Stock, never dreamed. Uh, yikes! Oh, yikes, it's Amy. I'm scared. First, we must go by the post office because Amy is our shipping department at Nichols Empire. She ships all of the Collar Valley Cooks cookbooks. She's totally in charge of that. She gets compensated regularly on a weekly basis. Yeah. America. It's my job. It's her job. She's got a job. Yeah, I'm employed. She's employed. But this this economy is so powerful and doing so good that even Amy has a job. Yeah. They call her Big Money Amy down at the school. She comes in and goes, oh, it's big money. Yikes. <laughs> is, that why, is that why your, sh your shirt says yikes? Because you're big money? My shirt says got all yikes the money? because I scare everybody. Oh. Amy's intimidating. She intimidates children and her teachers. Taught her well. Yeah. How to be intimidating. Yeah. Even though she doesn't know who John Wayne is or Clint Eastwood. I I know, like, I just don't. Because they were intimidating. When John Wayne says something, Mark it down. Lady Gaga has a song called John Wayne. She does. It's about John Wayne. I'm probably going to have to edit this out because Amy said Lady Gaga and John Wayne in the same sentence. So what did she say? I'm interested. Now you got me. I'm hooked. What is it? What did she say in the John Wayne song? You don't want to say on the basis it may incriminate you? Yeah. Incriminate you? You know what that is? I'm going. Maybe no, you're not. You know what that is when you refuse to say something on the basis? Because you do, you do not have to incriminate yourself. I hate this. We need the popo. I'm calling the police. Uh, anyway, so apparently whatever Lady Gaga said about John Wayne 
was so bad that Amy probably no, shouldn't have been listening she to wasn't it. Talking about John. I'm sure it was probably some kind of nasty song or something, and so she cannot talk about it because they'll get her in trouble. So she is pleading the fifth. That is the Fifth Amendment, Amy, of the Constitution of the United States, made by the farmers of the Constitution. Yeah. That says you do not have to incriminate yourself. Although that doesn't work in this case because we're not on trial. This is not a courtroom. And I have every right. Although she is 18. So, kind of on shaky ground here. Tell me. You tell me now. Go. Trouble. Look at that car. You're in trouble, Amy. You better tell me. Mm -hmm. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. Well, I don't like it, but this is an important constitutional moment that John Wayne would have approved of. This is a pivotal moment in history. It's pivotal. So, for those of you out there, that was what we call a teachable moment I hope you never have to use that lesson I hope you never have to plead the fifth well, probably won't be a very good situation situation yikes yikes Our efforts we are getting a half price milkshake a steak and shake that is wise spending Amy when you get stuff at a discount, discounted rate. That's called economics. Amy, I uh, also had a kid one time I uh, taught world geography. He came to class the first day and said he didn't like anything about world geometry. He called it world geometry. I also had a student tell me he was having a Cadillac arrest. I'm going to go into Cadillac arrest. He was holding his heart saying he's having Cadillac arrest. It's a Kia Forte. So, thanks for watching. Nichols Retirement Empire and Amy. Where we cook. Where we. Like my I don't know what we really do. We go do stuff, get milkshakes, and we uh, buy things that don't work. Yikes!